Look at her. Playing with all of her puppies. Look at her go. Hi folks, welcome to Bird Dogs Afield. What a great program we're gonna have for you today. We're with Wes Reed at Rise and Shine Kennels or Rise and Shine Retrievers. Retrievers. Yeah, and uh, in Center Barnstead, New Hampshire, Wes is known all over the country for his dogs. And in fact, there's like a two year waiting list for puppies if you want a puppy from Wes's kennel. Wes, welcome to Bird Dogs Afield. Thanks for having me. Well, this is gonna be exciting. Now you've got a litter of pups we're gonna look at, right? Correct, these puppies are seven and a half weeks old. They'll start going home uh, in a few days. Wonderful. And we're hoping to see them get a, into the water a little bit. Maybe they haven't been introduced to the water yet. And of course, uh, retrievers are known for being good water dogs. So we're gonna see what happens with these puppies and get them out in the field where they can feel a little weeds on, on their tummy. So uh, what do you think? Are we gonna be able to get them down to the river? Well, the, the best way to get, a, to get a dog in the water is using another dog. So this morning we're gonna use their mother. Uh, we're gonna use mom and see if they'll follow her into the, into the river. Wonderful. Let's get going. Very good. Bird Dogs Afield, presented by Native Performance Dog Food, providing performance diets for the canine athlete and brought to you in part by Mud River Dog Products, fundamentally changing the expectations of the hunter and dog enthusiast. Pete Shoe Dryer, inventor of the footwear dryer, takes on the nuisance of foot odor, Thoroughgood, job-fitted footwear handcrafted in America since 1892. Visit thoroughgoodusa.com for a dealer near you. This is Mama. This is Mama. It's her first litter. How old is she? Two and a half. Come on, puppers. Puppies. Come on, pup. Come on, pup, 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 pup. Wake up. As soon as they see mom, they'll come to life. Pup, 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 Come here. With this many puppies, it's always a counting game. We count to make sure we got everybody. So Wes, I didn't know you could get both a chocolate and a black out of the same litter. So, if you... There's... I believe there's 73 different color combinations with labs. So, for example, Mom Becca is a chocolate factored black. I bred her to a chocolate, so I'm going to get both colors. Becca's mother is a yellow and chocolate factored black. So if you stop and think, if you breed a black and a black, you're going to get black because black's a dominant color. Now if you breed a chocolate factored black to a chocolate factored black, you're going to get, or you could conceivably get, black and chocolate puppies. So if you stop and think about all the different color combinations, because you could have a black lab, you could have a yellow factored black lab, you can have a chocolate factored black lab, you can have a yellow and chocolate factored black lab, and depending on what you breed them with, will tell you what you're gonna get. And once again, I believe there's 73 different color combinations. Um, once again, black being the dominant color. So for example, I have a black factored yellow and I bred her with a black boy I got all black puppies which was expected because once again black is the dominant color and black was in both dogs I have a yellow dog upstairs who is out of two black parents so once again those black parents must have been yellow factored so they got five black puppies and two yellow puppies so there is some science to it but it's also a crapshoot. Come on, pop, 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 pop. Oh, Susan's got them all down there already. Yeah, well, they followed Mama. I 
All right, come on, let's go. Quick message from our sponsors. We'll be right back. Whether you walk, run, hunt, or compete with your dog, Native Performance Dog Food offers the correct nutritional energy level. Native understands a dog's nutritional needs from puppy to senior and for any activity. That's why Native is different. The concentrated energy in each bag of Native dog food gives your canine athlete or household companion the competitive edge to achieve peak performance. And native formulas use balanced, wholesome ingredients for a smooth digestive transition between native food levels. Experience the native difference. Go to nativedogfood.com today, check it out. Your dog will be happy and so will you. These work boots are made in central Wisconsin. Thoroughgood shoes have been crafted by hand in Wisconsin since 1892. We manufacture over 125 styles of made in the USA law enforcement, firefighting, lifestyle, outdoor, and safety footwear. Our facilities in Maryland Marshfield produce footwear with the same dedication to quality we've had for 125 years. Thoroughgood shoes, American heritage footwear, proudly made in the USA. I don't want to care for babies. Bring your puppies. Pup, 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 pup. Come on, you. Do you have to um, supplement feed any of them? No. Nope. No. Nope. Wow. Mama took care of them all. We we supplement mom's diet and we give her calcium pills. Yeah. Um, and she was making more milk than a Holstein cow. Wow, that's great. She would come into the living room and lay down. Mm -hmm. And when she'd get up, there'd literally be a puddle of milk on the floor. <laughs> Come on, pup, 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 pup. Come on, puppers. Becca, Becca, Becca. It's a whole field of puppies. Come on. Now, Wes. Yes. Now, this is good for them in the weeds, everything, right? Oh, yeah. And like I said, we're, we're, we're keeping a pup out of this litter. Um, and like I said, New Hampshire Fish and Game Law Enforcement is getting a pup out of this litter. This tells us which puppies are adventurous which ones are more of a loner, you know, um, and it's just, it's, it's all part of the, the picking process, making sure that the right pup goes to the right home. We like to make sure that we get to know our puppy owners, um, so we make sure we match them up with the, right, with the right puppy. Some of these puppies will be going to pet homes, but some will also be going to hunting slash working homes, so. Do you put one of you in my shoes? So we check pockets before people leave. <laughs> pop, 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 pop. Come on, puppers, pup, 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 puppies. Back up, come. Bring your kids. Pup, 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 come on, let's go. Oh, look at this. Oh, my God. Pup, 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 pup. Come on, puppers. Pup, 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 puppies. Who's gonna come in? Back up, come. Come on, let's go in the water. Pop, pop, 
So the best way to get a dog swimming is use another dog. And in this instance, we're using mom. Puppies, it's, river's a little cool, but uh, hopefully some will come in this morning. Come on, puppers. Come on, pup, 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 pup. Here we go. Here's got, we got a brave one here. Come on, pup, 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 pup. Becca, come. Becca, Becca, come. Becca, come. Come on, puppers. Come on, pup, 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 please. Pup, 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 please. Come on. Risk going in the water. Come on. Becca, come. Forget the stick. Come. Pup, 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 pup. Becca. Becca, come. Bring the puppies with you. Pup, pup, puppies. Come on, pup. Come on, puppers. Pup, 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 puppies. Come on, puppers. Come, come, come. That's a good boy. Come. Look at, look at, look at. Girl, back, back and come, back and come. Come on, puppers. He's all, almost. He says, oh, my, yeah. my foot couldn't quite touch that last step, so. Pup, 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 puppies. Back and come. Come here, pups. Pup, 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 pups. They're running everywhere but in the water. Pup, 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 puppies, come on. Babies. All right, pups, pup, come on. Back and come. Pup, 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 pups. Back and come. Bring your puppies with you. Come on, puppers. You got the blue one coming in. Becca, come. Come, come, on, come here, puppers. Come on, puppers. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, we're all so bold. Come on, pup, 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 pup. Babies. Well, they finally woke up. They're all playing. Come. Becca, come. Bring the puppies with you. Pup, 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 pup. Come on, puppers. You don't seem to mind the water. You ready? Oh. Oh. Swim. Beautiful swim. Pop, 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 pop. Oh, she's keeping an eye on Is that a boy or a girl? That's a boy dog. Blue. Look at this one roll down the hill. Becca, come. Becca, come. Pup, 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 puppers. That was a good swim. Yeah, that was a good swim. Good job, you the ones. <laughs> like I said, I know the ones that are a little bit. So this is the one we're thinking of keeping right here. <laughs> Swimmer. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you want to see, you want to see a beautiful puppy. Be nice, Becca, don't be mean. She's being too rough with him. Look if she wants to play. That's a beautiful puppy right there. And why is he why is he so beautiful other than the fact that his coloring I mean he's Look at his look at his his head. He has nice ear set. He has plenty of bone. So people ask me, do you breed American labs or do you breed English labs? Okay, I'm not a big fan of those labels. I tell people we breed a classic looking lab with a desire to work. Your field bred labs are typically too high strung for the average family. And your field, your show labs 
a lot of times lack the drive needed to work in the field. All right, so <clears throat> I get asked actually a lot when you start training. Here's my typical regime. Puppies go home in eight weeks. Give puppies a couple of weeks to learn the house, to check out the couch, to check out the cat, and, and get familiar with its surroundings. At 10 weeks, start retrieving games inside the house. From 10 weeks to four months, we want to teach the dog about the world. We want to take them for walks. We want to introduce them to all things that, that they're going to be in their world for the time that they're alive. From four months to six months, we want to introduce puppy to everything hunting. It's when we introduce birds, it's when we introduce gunfire, it's when we introduce decoys, and it's when we introduce throwers in the field. Um, when you're hunting, the birds aren't coming out of your hand. Um, so I have throwers so I can set the dog down and they pay attention and look out for the birds being thrown in the field. Somewhere between seven and nine months of age, we put the dog on the bench, we teach him to heal, hold, and deliver the hand. I don't use an e-collar and I don't force fetch. Um, but I do teach the dog to go out and get the bird, come back, sit down at heel, and put the bird in my hand. So around nine to 10 months of age, we've got the dog reliably delivering, and we start to develop the dog's marking skills, teaching them to go, you know, carry 100 yards and cross the ditch and whatnot. We also start to steady them up. The dog should sit next to me until I tell it to go, otherwise it becomes a safety issue during the hunting. Um, and then once we've instilled that level of obedience in the dogs, I say the sky's the limit. We can introduce double retrieves. We can start blind retrieve training. Uh, we can introduce diversion birds. And for those people that don't know, a diversion bird is let's say I'm hunting and I shoot a bird and the dog is making a retrieve and another bird comes by and I shoot that second bird. You don't want the dog to drop the first bird and go get the second one. You want that dog to complete the retrieve put it in your hand, and then you send them for the second one. Um, and like I said, now I've got a dog that's about a year worth of age, hopefully capable of t going on his first hunting trip. And from there, we just advance the training. Quick message from our sponsors. We'll be right back. Hi, friends. You know, whether you're a hiker, hunter, jogger, walker, all of those activities create sweat and moisture in your footwear. That moisture leads to bacteria, mildew, mold, all bad things for your feet. To eliminate that moisture, you need a peat shoe dryer. The new PowerCell peat eliminates that moisture and creates a better atmosphere for good foot health. So as I said, I don't use an e-collar and I don't force fetch. Now, that doesn't mean that my dogs go through training without any pressure because that's what they call using the e-collar. Let's call it pressure. Um, you can apply pressure with a healing stick. You can apply pressure with your voice. You can apply pressure with a leash. It's not that my dogs go through training without any pressure. Um, it's just, um, like I said, it's a different kind of pressure. The problem with an e-collar is typically the individual that's holding the transmitter. So we have 1,400 feet of frontage on this river. Oh, nice. We have 17 acres. Um, I shoot ducks on this river. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Woody, woodies. Yeah. Early wow. season. <laughs> so I've had several litters of 10. This is my biggest. <laughs> but anyways, that would be something to look for. You know, the dog likes to carry things. The dog likes to retrieve. That's all part of watching, watching the puppies to, to pick the best candidates for the job at task at hand. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The three back here. There we go. We're good. Keep them moving. Right. Good that, that, that's another thing I found out. If you don't keep them moving, you lose them. <laughs> and, and, and when you're around them, it's like being on a crab boat. You don't lift your feet up, you shuffle. Come on, you! Puppies have already been introduced to feathers. Yeah. Uh, I break out wings. Come on! Come on, baby! Come on, pup, 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 pups! 
I'm all wet now. Look at her. Playing with all of her puppies. Look at her go. Becca, Becca, Becca. Get him, Becca, get him. Pop, 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 pop. Come here, you. Ah. All right. What are we up to? We got one, um, we only four, five, six. If Becca can bring them out. Becca, come. Becca, come. Becca, come. Come on, pop, 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 Well, Wes, that was just fantastic. Wow, did, did we have fun? 12 puppies, we got a few of them to swim. Uh, that was just fantastic. It's, it's, it's fun to watch the dogs develop. Um, at, at this age, we try to introduce them to the world. Um, we wanna make sure that the right puppy goes to the right home. Some of these puppies will be going to hunting homes. Some of these puppies will be going to uh, law enforcement. And some of these puppies will be going as pets. So by doing exercises like this, it, it tells us which puppy um, should be in what environment. Great, fantastic. Now Wes, uh, I'm gonna put your telephone number here on the screen. Now you do training also, right? Correct, I, I do all types of retriever training for both waterfowl and upland. Great, so if you need help with your dog or you're looking for a puppy, not too soon, but looking for a puppy, contact Wes. He'll take care of you. Wes, thanks so much. Thanks for having me. You bet. Bird Dogs Afield, presented by Native Performance Dog Food, and brought to you in part by Mud River Dog Products, Pete Shoe Dryer, and Thoroughgood Footwear.